Hello there, and today I'm going to teach you about a new thing that's come up in the Juno New Origins community, which is a way to turn almost any picture you want into an image in the game, and then you can put it on your vehicles. And this also works on mobile too, so everyone can do it, and you can upload them. It's not a mod, so it's really great. So what is this? Well, it's a website that allows you to convert images into text, which you can then put into a label in game, and then it will basically create an image from the letters of the label. This is what it looks like. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can access this and then use it yourself. I'm not sure who's hosting this version of it, but it says in the corner there that the original was made by HP GB Productions. So how do you use this website? Well, first of all, we need an image to input into the website. The image needs to be a single color, so you can't do images that are black and white. It has to be black only, or white only, or whatever color only. It can't be any other color than one color, or it will glitch out and look horrendous, pretty much. So here's the example image I'm using. It's just a very simplified version of my logo. What you want to do is click in the box at the top where it will say to add an image and you just want to either copy and paste the images link from online or just put the image from your files in there. Next we're going to look at the bar below that which is a slider. Make sure you slide this all the way to the left. Next we have the value under the slider and you're going to want to set this based on the image size, kind of. It's a bit confusing, you're just going to want to mess around with this one pretty much to get the best result. I would recommend a lower than 100 number to start off with, but you may want to go higher than 100 depending on the image. For the boxes below this I would recommend leaving them alone, especially the one that has the number 1 in it. And finally below this we have a checkbox that says disable underlines, make sure it's checked. And now we finally have our output. This is a sequence of numbers and letters that will basically generate the image in the label. We're going to want to edit this. If you want your image to be colorable, aka you can paint it, you're going to want to do what I'm about to do. You may find this difficult on mobile, so I would recommend just doing this on PC because it will be very complicated to do on mobile. So what you're going to want to do is press Control F and then you're going to type in hashtag into that box that comes up. You're going to type in hashtag zero and then you're going to delete the box in the box where the output is. You're going to delete the hashtag zero zero zero. Then you're going to enter again and then delete the other hashtag zero 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 that comes up. And for some sequences, you'll also have a hashtag FFF or something along those lines. It's basically the color white, I'm pretty sure. Also delete that. I don't have that in my image, so I don't have to delete that. I only have the zeros, so I'm going to delete the zeros. And so finally, after all that painful setup, we now have the sequence ready. What we're going to do next is copy the output, and then we're going to go into Juno New Origins, and then we're going to paste the output into the label text field. Now you may see some interesting shapes come upon your label. What you're next going to do is change the font to Anita Semi Square, and then you're going to increase the texts or the labels width and height. And if the image is extremely big, you're going to want to go into the Tinker panel and manually increase the text width and height to a higher number than you can get it with the sliders and then you should now have your image. For some reason my image has some little weird artifacts on it, I've seen people do it without those so I don't know exactly how to get that to not happen because it always happens to me for some reason. However you should now have the image and you can place this on whatever you want, you can upload the craft to the website and the image will still be there, it will be downloaded, it will be in other people's worlds with that craft. and. It can be done on mobile, of course. It's just amazing. So as I said, the link to the website will be in the description. And there's also another link which will be to post on the website by someone who has basically shown you how to do it or some tips for using it, which is basically what I did. I followed them in this tutorial. So yeah, sorry for this video being super scuffed. I don't really know much about this entire thing. I just found it really cool and people are asking how to do it. So I just decided to make a tutorial so people don't have to keep asking all the time. So there you go. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.